Welcome back. This is the reason that I wanted the stopwatch. It's the only way to get up here. That one will never go back into the wall unless you use the stopwatch, so... Vorpal Blade? Interesting. Okay, what do we got? Let's see. This is less powerful. Alright. And this is slightly more powerful. Ooh! I can't throw it, but that's awesome! Okay, hold up. It may be weaker than the than the Mab Lung sword. Is that supposed to be like Belmung? I don't know. But uh But I'm gonna just decimate enemies if I can do that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes. This way. Oh, this is fantastic. I never got this sword originally. I don't know where you find it. There's obviously... There obviously must be areas of the map I still missed. Especially because I heard what is supposed... Oops. I heard what is supposed to be. I forget what it was. I but I remember reading whatever percentage number was supposed to be, like, actual true map completion where you've been on every map square, and I didn't get that in my playthrough. I don't know what I was missing, because those maps I was looking at were not the most helpful. Uh, but, um, oh, let's see, there's some other areas in here I need to explore, actually. Or is it more... Hmm. I'm forgetting. There were certain areas where I, like, I needed bat form. Somewhere in around. Well, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and deal with this, though. I might as well hit it up while I'm in the area. Uh, but yeah, I I didn't have, like, full com map completion, I guess, because I had, uh, I had exactly 196, uh, 196 point whatever, I forget, <laughs> dang it, but, like, the amount of map percentage that you needed for the best ending, uh, from what I understand, you're supposed to be able to get more than that percentage, and I only had just enough exactly, so, obviously, missed stuff. There's also, there's also, like, rare enemy drops and stuff that I didn't really deal with, so that could also be where some of the good weapons come from. Let's see, down here is where I wanted to explore around, I think. Uh, no. Am I just confusing this area for a completely different area or something? I must be. Hmm. Oh well, I guess I'll just move on to the next area. I distinctly feel like I am missing something. I must be, right? No, I guess I'm not. Well, whatever. I really must be confusing this with another area. Oh well, that's fine. Wherever that is, I'll be back there later too, so... Yeah, I'll take the knife over that. Now this area we're going to- I love how these areas have the picture of a CD and the word CD in the middle of the freaking ornate decorations for the hallway. As if to tell you that this is a loading area. <laughs> I love this music track. This is, I think, 
This might be my favorite music track in the entire game. over here first. Oh, save point. I actually meant to hit cancel on that, but that's fine. Well, let's get that music started back up. I feel like that's what was supposed to be there, but maybe not. This is not what was supposed to be here. What I'm wearing is already better, though. You feel like you should be able to go behind these stairs and, like, that wall would be a fake wall, but... No way to do it. I guess I'll go... I guess I'll come back to that other shaft. about this room. I don't remember this. Weird. I should remember that. I'm sure I must have been in here. I wonder what was in there originally. get down to the area where this music is really fitting of, but I'm gonna leave there for a moment. Because I want to fly up this shaft and examine what's in that uh, side area. be anything of note in here, right? Yeah, just a heart. Oh, well, this will be interesting. Flimberge. I remember now, there's a number of pots down here. Yep. What do we got? Diamond, not... They're all diamonds? Oh my goodness. Oh no, two of them are. That's a hard upgrade. Health... <laughs> Amazing. Give me that. Thank you. Now that's a treasure trove of stuff. Oh! It's this area. I forgot that this... that that was this area. Let's go in the weird purple save point. That's not a save point. Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die and remember always my last words to you. That's a little messed up. Yes, Mother. 
You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. That doesn't seem right. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. Demon, death is too good for you. Come here, little boy, and show me what you've got. Sure thing. Bye. <laughs> Darkling, I smell your blood. You're a vampire? Could it be... Acting. <laughs> that strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait, I beg of you. Ah! There's the gold ring. That is how you get that, too. Are the, Do those always show up in their proper locations, then? Or did it just happen to be the case that the randomizer didn't mess- didn't mess with that? That'd be interesting if the gold and silver ring always end up in the same location. I don't know. If that were the case, the, uh, logic for the randomizer would have to dictate that the, uh, spike armor shows up somewhere in the regular castle, not just, like, the inverted castle. They might do that anyway, just to make sure you don't have to deal with an absurd amount of backtracking, but... This is one of the areas I did not find on my own. almost feel like I should have. We could have the fairy guy down here, the boat guy, the ferryman, if I would, uh, go do another thing first, but that's okay. Oh, I have to. It's actually closed off until I have him come through. I didn't know that. Interesting. Well, good to know for the future. It's so slow. The inclines, anyway. Well, I'm gonna have to come back here. I don't mind having to spend a little longer in this area, though. With that music, it's my favorite to explore around in. <laughs> Thanks, Sword Familiar! Hmm, your water doesn't scare me, I have a snorkel. I also have 238 HP. I'd pretty much be fine for that reason alone, if nothing else, too. I think that was an HP up originally, so that if the water was starting to get to you, it would, uh, refill your HP and you'd be alright. Ooh, a night shield. That would raise my defense if I equipped it, but I kind of like having the two different swords. The one really broken one for short range, and the distance one that I just throw.
You can tell which areas are earlier game versus not, because... Some of the bosses at least took some hits, whereas this one is just like, dead! Immediately, dead! <laughs> Nothing of note from doing that boss fight, but that's okay. It was still funny, at least. So, no point going down there. Time to just move forward. So, fun fact, originally, I just walked my way through here, timing-wise. It's kind of a pain. Especially because sometimes, I remember the timing being... Or... <laughs> or that could just happen. You don't normally have a familiar at this point. Uh, the other thing, though, is that you can push this here. I didn't realize I could just push that all the way. Haha, <laughs> and then it stays like that forever. Unlike the other, like, thing- unlike the other block I could push in an earlier part of the game, that one, once you get it in place to where you drown those enemies, uh, that block stays in place forever. So. And the en- so the enemies never respawn there. Kinda nice. Those fish enemies are basically put there, so if you try and come here without the snorkel, or, like, an excessive amount of HP, HP that you would absolutely not have when you first get here, you're not gonna survive trying to get through here. So don't bother. Just wait until you get the snorkel. Or if you don't find it, you'll have to come back much later with more HP. Fun fact, I didn't find the snorkel until, like, some, some time after I had even gotten into the inverted castle somehow, because I was dumb. I did find it on my own, but not when I should have. I found it much later than I should have, when it was basically not even necessary anymore. Ham and eggs. Kinda weird that a fish underwater would drop that. This must be, must be uh, some really soggy ham and eggs. Oh, nice, the Vorpal Slur just cuts in an arc. Even gets the lower enemies without me having to crouch. That makes this part easy. Who lives in a pineapple under the water? It almost kind of... Am I, am I crazy, or did it almost kind of look like there was a little sponge with it, too? Hello? Oh, I didn't push it in all the way? <laughs> okay. Something appeared near near to the wooden bridge. Now first... Uh, I want this. Mana prism. Let's go ahead and backtrack to that other wooden bridge we saw. I could just go forward in this area, but... Yeah, I really might as well go to the next area that I can. It's a cool area anyway. Oh wait, I needed that guy alive. Let me, uh, turn off my familiar while I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so he doesn't slice the guy I need alive. Okay. 
Just follow me over here, buddy. Really use your help with something. Thanks, friend. He gets to live. This is a cool little... Like... I want to call it a secret area, almost, because it's not really. It's, uh, in fact, vital to come here to truly complete the game and get, like, the proper endings. But on the other hand, you can easily get an ending of the game without knowing about this area. Only the one where you just murder Richter, but, you know. Nah, I don't need to save. Actually, no, you know what? I do need to. Oh, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get to where... There's a warp point down here, so I'm gonna get to that. And then I'm gonna leave for now, because... There's a power-up... I would like to get before I deal with something down here. So I want to see if I can find it somewhere else. Hi, Cerberus. Hi, <laughs> Cerberus. <laughs> Excuse me, Cerberus. Uh, this sword is way too good. It's unbelievably broken. Can't get in there. I would need a certain familiar for that. Well, I'll take it. Oh wow, the gremlins drop high potions? Oh, never mind. That's the power up I needed, so we're fine. I can keep going. I have nothing to worry about. I, except for screwing up my jumps, of course. Got that opened up. Man, this sword makes dealing with those gremlins and their fire a lot easier, too. What is that? Reverse cloak, eh? That's not as good as what I have on. Okay. Circlet. How is that compared to the steel helm? Not as good. For some reason I thought... Oops. For some reason, I thought there was, like, a breakable wall in here. Hmm. On to the next part of the area. point. I was just letting the atmosphere set in. The music here is very cool. Ooh, stone sword. You know what, why would I ever use anything other than these two swords? <laughs> like, honest question, why would I ever use anything other than these two swords unless it was just to nerf myself?
to be fair, I do seem to be in need of some nerfing. <laughs> Fuck, want to have any kind of challenge at all. This music is so good. I like how the area with potentially my favorite music in the entire game leads to leads directly to, into two more areas with really good music, including this one, which is just another really, really good track in this game. It's suitably mysterious for these, like, borderline hidden mysterious catacombs. Nothing can stand in my way. I was, like, trying to remember which way is optional. I think I might be going the way I'm supposed to be going, which I didn't want to be. Ugh, yeah, maybe I should backtrack. Oh, this is so amazing. Just destroy everything without any effort. <laughs> I wonder where you find this sword normally. Probably, it's probably gonna escape. Nope, just got him. Way to deal with those slimes is magic. Hmm. But was this not the way I had to go? Hmm. Yeah, I'm really forgetting which way is optional and which way isn't. Doesn't help, too, that having to have gone through, like, needing to go through the inverted castle is probably messing with me a bit, too. Because that's basically just you replay the same areas, but everything's backward. <laughs> everything is backwards. Left is right, up is down. Everything you know is wrong! Uh-oh. When did I save last? <laughs> I wish I could say that's the first time I've done that, but it's not. How much progress did I just lose? Let's find out. Before we end the video, <laughs> let's find out how much that set me back. Doesn't seem like too far. Okay, yeah, that's not too far. I guess we'll just resume here next time. Till then, take care.